My name is Chris Hunt. This is Jordan Osteroff. We're the co-national directors of scouting for NLI Scouting. We're really excited to have the opportunity to provide you information with videos about the recruiting process and the ins and outs of it. A lot of misconceptions on phase number one, which is being seen by college coaches. How do you accomplish that goal? A lot of players and a lot of parents think that if you play in major showcase tournaments, travel ball tournaments, in events like that, that you're going to be seen and get identified and ultimately offered by college coaches. Probably not necessarily true. There's different ways to accomplish that goal, which we're going to go over now. Jordan? Thanks, Chris. So let's go over three of the main and key points of getting seen. One, travel tournaments or showcase tournaments. Two, college camps. And three, video. A lot of people think by going to massive events like the World Woodbat in Lake Point, the World Championship in Jupiter, and events like this, they have the upper hand of getting recruited. But keep in mind, at, at these events, you have sometimes 3,000 players and just several coaches walking around. And they're not just walking around field to field looking for players. They're going there with a list of players that they withdrew from their whiteboards on their recruiting board. Players they are already following from previous events or have already received video on and highly interested in. If you're not on that whiteboard, and you're not on the recruiting list of these tournaments, then you're not being recruited. Secondly, camps. There's a difference. You can go as a camper, or you can go as a recruit. It's not a very smart idea to waste a bunch of money going to college camps blind. And what I mean by blind is, you probably want to make sure there's some sort of interest from the coaches before attending the camp. You can do so by video, by getting your high school or travel coaches to call ahead of time with honest metrics, so on and so forth. But make sure there's some interest from the coaches before going up to their camp, before spending all that money. Third, and lastly, is video. Put together a nice skills video or a collage or collaboration of, of game highlights and send it to a college coach. Make sure you do this through your high school coach, your travel coach, or another credible source such as me or Chris. By sending video into these coaches, they're gonna evaluate you by your mechanics, by the metrics provided from that credible source they're coming from, and if they're interested, you're gonna go up on their recruiting board as a follow. From that follow, they're gonna either invite you to a camp or try to see you at one of the next showcase tournaments. They're most likely gonna send you a college recruiting questionnaire, which you're gonna fill out on their website, on their athletics page. Chris? Thanks for the information, Jordan. I think we need to finish this uh, segment by talking about being proactive. Recruits, very important to be proactive, all right? Get someone involved in your corner, again, whether that's a high school or travel ball coach or someone like us, but you need an ally to provide information to college coaches, and college coaches will look at that information and gather some interest in you. However, that doesn't start on your end until you're proactive. Email coaches, give them video of yourself. Give them your upcoming schedule. Give them a contact that they can reach out to to verify the information that you're giving them. All these things make a difference. Hopefully this information helped in reference to you in the first phase of the recruiting process. And please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as we'll be rolling out more videos on a daily basis. Thank you. Thanks.